All right. So what we are going to do is we're going to create a new Google Sheets by clicking on our rainbow plus sign and a new spreadsheet. And we're going to name this your last name space the word lists. And then I, I already made one, so I'm going to make mine a two. And then click create. And you can see that we have our spreadsheet. And it says in your instructions, click on A6 and type in 8 o'clock. So we're going to type 8 colon. Colon is a dot dot. And you have to click, um, hold down shift and click the button that's next to the L to get your colon. If you don't hold down shift, you'll get a semicolon, which is a dot and a comma. And that won't work for you. Okay, so 8 and then a colon, 0, 0. Okay. And then go down to um, A7 and put in 8 colon 10. Let's do one more, 8 colon 20. All right, so now how you make your uh, spreadsheet do the work for you, because you can imagine how long it would take, take you to make a, like a schedule like this if you were going in 10-minute intervals you know, for hours and hours and hours. And it, what would be even worse would be if it was like a seven-minute interval. It'd be really easy to make a mistake, and then everything after your mistake would be wrong. Okay? So notice that it did change it to 8 colon 0 0 colon 0 0 for the seconds and AM. Don't worry about that. All right, so we've got our pattern established, and then your instructions say, your instructions actually say to put 830 also. Okay, so now click up in the top one, and the instructions say uh, drag your, your selection box to row 24. So I'm going to grab the bottom right-hand corner of my um, box there. It's kind of hard to get a hold of it sometimes and then drag it down to row 24. Now, if it goes past it, put it back up on 24. You also don't want it to go way over here. You just want to stay in that same column. Okay, so I've got, I've got it down to 24. And notice there's that blue section is all, all selected and highlighted. In that blue section, click on it. You see cut, copy, autofill, or clear. We want autofill. We want the work we want we want to automatically fill in the rest with the same pattern so click autofill and you can see that it added 840 and 850 and eight and nine o'clock that j that could save you a great deal of time all right it says let's make another repeating pattern go to c6 type in jan next one feb next one Mar, and we didn't put March because we had established our pattern with three letter abbreviations, and we want to keep with that. We don't want to then change our our pattern to a five letter word, okay? And it says uh, select select those and drag it down to row 17. So we're going to grab that little box at the end. It's kind of hard to get a hold of that sometimes, and drag it down to 17. Then click. With your, with your finger touch in the blue selected part, click autofill. You can see it continued with the three letter abbreviations all the way through April, all the way down here to December. Okay, the next one says go to E6. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. It might be easier, it might be harder. And we're going to type in Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, and then the instructions say drag it down to row 19. You're going to grab the bottom right-hand corner of it. Now, see, I just moved the selection, so go back up. It's a little bit stinky and try, trying to a little bit finicky. All right, I've got it selected. Click on it, autofill, and it filled in all the rest of the days. And after Saturday, it knew to start over again on Sunday. All right, it will also do things patterns that nobody really would know but you so it says go to g6 type in mo maybe you're these are your chores and put in uh wash the dishes and then the last one is take out the trash okay and say so you do that time after time after time it says drag it down to row 23 
click in the selection, click autofill, and boom. It just it just saved you from having to type all that. Okay? All right, so this can save you a great deal of time. Go ahead and close this file. Remember, you needed to name it your last name, lists, and then go back into classroom, and on our assignment that's called repeating lists, add this attachment and turn this in.